What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Hey, good morning. Good, good to see you. We're good, Generally Chief. Good. Oh, y'all look a little geeked up today. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> I think that was a lovely introduction no. you gave me. No. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, first off, before we get started with the interview, I want to wish uh, Leah and Julia a happy first anniversary. I know Aww. you started off with a different husband with Chief Reyes, but you know what? I'm the second, <laughs> I'm the second husband, so it's all good. So uh, we, uh, this past Wednesday, we, we hit a year uh, on Chief Chat. We got over 100 plus episodes. Uh, I got my my balloon in the background. Wow, happy Every anniversary. One year. I brought my cake with me. Uh, you guys got some Chief Chat merch on, so that's that's awesome. So thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. for I want to thank you. I want to thank our team that uh, helps put this together, and also just I want to thank all the uh, all our family out there that, that view view our show and, and give us support and love. So appreciate that. And there's no better way to celebrate our anniversary than to have our next guest, who is a friend of the Chief Chat. This is the second time on the on the show. Uh, he was our first A-list celebrity uh, we ever had on the show. And after the show, his career just really took off. So now he's an A plus celebrity. So uh, <laughs> hashtag you're welcome, uh, Mark. So uh, without further ado, uh, Julie, please introduce today's guest. Thank Chief, you. we we do have a longtime friend joining us today to help celebrate our Chief Chat anniversary. And as you said, he was one of our first guests when we launched this broadcast exclusively for the military community about a year ago. We are thrilled he's back for round two. He's one of Hollywood's finest and a huge supporter of our nation's heroes. Please help us welcome once again, Mark Wahlberg. Hey. Uh, how are you guys? Good. All right. right. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Congratulations, Thank you. Chief, on your new gig. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. it. Very exciting. So, Mark, thanks so much for joining us. We are super excited to have you back with us. And for everybody watching, you know what to do. Drop your note in the comments. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Share your love and your questions with Mark there. We'll read those live throughout the broadcast. Now is a great time to start your watch party to enjoy this live interview with your friends. And if you're not following our page well, you should. We have Chief Chats every week and terrific military guests exclusive for you all spring. So, uh, Mark, uh, welcome back. It's good to be back. Awesome. Awesome. It's good to be back. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to tell you that not to say that Leah and Julie hadn't talked about this like literally all the, for the past two weeks, like every single day. Um, and I told Jeez, them I was going to I was, I was gonna sit out. back and be the co-host and, and just let them run with the show because they're super excited. But I'm super excited as well. Uh, can you tell us where you're ca calling in from this morning? I'm actually calling in right now from home in Los Angeles. Um, I was uh, shooting a movie in the Dominican Republic. I got home about two weeks ago. Um, so I've been home now uh, spending some quality time with my wife and my kids. And uh, it's just good to be home. It's good to be home. I miss them so much. Obviously, everybody uh, who uh, serves all over the world knows the ultimate sacrifice, being away from your family and, uh, and you know, just losing that time. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really nice to be home. So I'm going to ask, uh, did Mustache March get extended to April? Is that is that what's going on? Or this, this little weird handlebar mustache here is for a role, as I keep telling people. This is not a specific <laughs> choice. Um, <laughs> I, Listen, I respect I respect mustaches or handlebars or whatever you got going on. So. You know, it's a, it's a specific look for a role. Um, I've been training and preparing for this movie, something I've been developing for quite some time. So I have the mustache for a bit uh, and then I'll kind of shave it down to here and then I'll lose it all. And then I'll actually end up losing all this long hair. It's kind of a movie that takes place over quite a bit of time. So, um, you know, at some point I'll be hopefully 30 pounds heavier. No mustache, no hair, uh, and looking completely different. That's the goal. Oh, I'm certainly intrigued. Can't wait for that. <laughs> so we caught up with you about a year ago in the early days of the pandemic. How have you been doing since then? 
like everybody else, just trying to cope. Um, you know, it's been uh, it's been obviously very difficult um, for a lot of people, uh, you know, with business closures, uh, people being out of work, all the new pr uh, protocols that are in place now when we are actually starting to get back to work. Um, there isn't anybody that I know that hasn't had somebody who's directly affected, um, that, that somebody had lost their lives, um, it suffered horrific, um, you know, symptoms because of COVID-19. Uh, six of my guys, when we were working in Spain, all, uh, all uh, contracted COVID and they were, you know, some had various stages of symptoms. Um, some are uh, syst a systematic, but it, symptomatic, but it was, a, it was been very, very difficult for everybody, obviously. Yeah, kids uh, start school. I mean, uh, you know, the whole thing. Everybody missing mm -hmm. graduation, sports are shut down. It's just, it's, uh, hopefully things will get back to normal soon. Glad to hear that you've been mostly doing well um, and that hopefully everybody has recovered from your team. Yeah. And Mark, as you know, we have soldiers, airmen, guardians, sailors, Marines, and Coast Guard members watching live with us from all over the world. We know you care deeply about our nation's heroes. What would you like to say to them today? Well, always every opportunity that I get to express my gratitude, my appreciation for their service. Uh, I want them to know that my thoughts and my prayers, and I just hope that they come home safe and soon um, and, you know, just returning to their families. But no, no greater appreciation for somebody, a man or a woman who walks into a recruiting office and who is dedicating their lives to serving a great country, um, despite their political beliefs or any of those things. They go uh, and they, they rise to the occasion. Those are the real heroes of the world. And I think about you guys constantly. And that's why every chance I get an opportunity to express my gratitude, to go to visit a base, to do anything like that, I am there 100 percent. It's something that, that, that really, uh, you know, it means a lot to me. And I've, I've met and saw real heroes in, in the real line of duty. And so, uh, you know, I just want to you know, express my gratitude always. Yes. And I, I can say, like, definitively that, like, Mark, you're out there in those streets, right? Because um, I've, I've met a bunch of people that have, have got the opportunity to meet you at a base, or you came here to Dallas and, and saw, came here, and everybody just raves about how much of a, a, a down to earth person you are, how, how, how nice you are. And so I think that defines us as humans more th than anything else is, is are, are we good, good human beings? And so uh, everybody got that vibe from you uh, every time they interacted with you. Yeah, you know, we want to, you know, treat people the way we'd like to be treated. And, you know, we need more than ever for people to be coming together uh and you know unite and uh and spreading the love so i'm constantly having especially uh our servicemen and women people on the front lines you know they're in my thoughts and my prayers they're the ones who always step up in the pandemic any other crisis they're the first to go uh into the most dangerous places and you know put themselves at risk for us and so you know it's uh those are the real heroes and you know anytime again i just want to express my gratitude i love you guys and appreciate you absolutely and so you know i've been checking out your your uh your IG and you're pretty active on social media. Uh, and, and I know fitness is one of your passions. And, and a matter of fact, uh, helping get this thing together was, uh, was sexy Kenny at 84 at sexy Kenny 84. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I, I've seen Kenny's journey uh, to, to fitness and, and how much weight he's lost. And, and I know that's, you know, all your friends are together and you guys work out on a regular basis. And of course, you know, uh, fitness is real important to uh, the military readiness and resiliency. So uh, what is your fitness routine looking like these days? Right now, I started to talk a little bit about the project I'm working on. So I've been, um, I just did a movie where I played an adventure racer. Um, adventure racing is is pretty extreme. Uh, it was based on a true story, of guys who are racing across Ecuador. Uh, this movie takes place in the Dominican Republic, but it's 500 mile race over the course of on average five days. It's a four, four person team, one female, three males, you usually kayak for, I don't know, a hundred and something miles, bike and uh, hike for 200 something miles. And then you'll, uh, you know, run, uh, sorry, cycle for a couple of hundred miles. So it's literally a, the, one of the craziest endurance races. Uh, and so I experienced that, that was training for that. And then I started training where I have to play a boxer in the beginning and then a person who's health and starts to decline. So I'll uh, train, I trained this morning, we got up at two, uh, started working out, we finished the gym about six o'clock, had our COVID test because we got some boxing rehearsals today after this. Um, and then Monday, 
I start eating as much as I possibly can to put on hopefully about 30 pounds is the goal in six weeks. Uh, I try to do it in, a, in, a, in as healthy a way as possible, but uh, that's what the role entails. So uh, my training and everything will train, uh, change drastically. But right now I'm uh, trying to get as lean as possible to then go and uh, get as big as possible. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is, wow. Yeah. I can't oh, wait oh, to see that. Oh, my he, goodness. <laughs> He was, he, he was just here. I just didn't know they were both sitting here because we're reading our scenes and everything and preparing for the movie. I didn't want them distracting me while I was talking, but, you know, he'd really appreciate the mention because he's worked so hard. And it's amazing because, you know, he's got the will to want to do it. And so when you have that, um, you know, you get the result. You're willing to do the work uh, and put the time in. And, you know, it's been life changing for him. So to see him succeed and see him kind of changing his life, you know, see how it's, you know, uh, affected his, his, his relationship with his wife and how proud his mom and his parents are and his brothers, you know, it's been, it's been amazing to see. Uh, amen. Big shout out to Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he was hard. He said today, he was like, my body's so tired. I said, well, you know what? The last five pounds is the hardest, mm. said, you know, so you got to find another gear. You got another gear. And he just said, right back to work, you know, so I'm really, really impressed. He inspires me, you know, I don't, he's always like, wow, you, you, you work out so hard and you work so hard, but, you know, to see somebody who's coming in uh, and it's not their lifestyle and doesn't have to do it for a job, doesn't, it's not incentivized because it's his job, it's a lifestyle change. And so he's making that and he's committed to that. And it's, uh, it's really inspired me. He looks great. And then he's a great example, you know, and anybody can do it. Right. So if they just um, stick with it. Absolutely. And I think coming out of this pandemic, I think a lot of people are really going to focus on their health and their wellness. Um, you know, obviously prevention is always better than cure. So if you can eat right, exercise and just find that balance. I don't, I don't think anybody wants to live, no pun intended, a boot camp type of existence. You want to be able to have you know, your cheap meals and your fun and then get back in the gym and burn it off and just find a nice balance. Yes, sir. You're, you're spot on. And Mark, we know that you understand the exchange mission of serving those who serve. You've been a friend to us for several years. You've helped us celebrate in person and with special video messages at the last few Army-Navy games. So what's ahead for you in the exchange? And I know that there's a Wahlburgers that will be coming soon to Joint Base Lewis McCord. Yeah, we're so excited about Wahlburgers here. Obviously, we uh, we have one in Germany at Ramstein. We're, we're, we're so excited to be part of the military community. Anything that we can uh, provide uh, with performance inspired nutrition, uh, now with Municipal, creating really great gear at an affordable price, we want to just, we want to give them uh, beautiful things that they can enjoy. So having Wahlburgers there, being able to take their families out. We also have, uh, you know, this great interactive technology where if you're having dinner at a base and somebody else is having dinner at a base and other Wahlburgers, you guys can connect and stuff like that. So we want to, we want to continue to just create special content exclusive for our military families and just uh, do things that will keep people connected and have people, you know, enjoying themselves, feeling good um, and all that stuff. So, yeah, any service that we can provide them to make it easier uh, and help them perform at a higher level, we're excited to be able to do that. Excellent. Mark, just want to pause for a second and uh, turn to our live feed to share some of the comments with you. You're getting well, lots of likes and loves. People um, are sharing that they love you. They love your movies. They love Wahlburgers. We do have one person asking if there will be a Wahlburgers coming to Kansas anytime soon. Um, I don't know. You know what? There probably is a good chance that there will be one coming uh, in Kansas within, I would say, the next maybe 16 months, 16 to 18 months. Good deal. And Patricia says, I loved you in Lone Survivor and Patriots Day. Stephanie says, Navy veteran here. What do you recommend for someone getting started with an exercise routine? Wow. I would say just kind of start slow. You know, I think, uh, you know, you don't want, you want to do anything you can to prevent any kind of injuries, uh, anything with body weight, getting started, focusing on mobility, flexibility, those sort of things, stretching, warming up. Um, and then, you know, start slow. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It, it should be a lifestyle change. So start slow workout recovery is just as important and proper nutrition is just as important, if not more important than working out because when you're working out, obviously you're just breaking down the muscle. Uh, it's the recovery and the nutrition and, uh, you know, the supplements that you take that are coming back and building up the muscle. So, but, uh, we're all in it for the long haul. You know, life is beautiful. We want to live long, healthy, happy lives. So, I think uh, eating right and exercising is, is a good part of that. But again, 
I wouldn't recommend anybody just make that their whole life, that everything revolves around that, you know, find a balance. Sure. And then from uh, Chief's page, Toya says your Thanksgiving burger is the absolute best. And I know from the menu that that was your favorite, but now it, it has changed. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you know, I actually, when I was shooting, uh, I was preparing for a movie. I started going plant-based. Um, I was eating impossible burgers and stuff like that. And so, uh, when then I started shooting in Europe, I was shooting in Spain. I was shooting a movie called uncharted and I realized that, uh, not a lot of like healthier options there, everything was made <laughs> with pork or, or beef. And, uh, and so I started eating meat again. Uh, I was eating fish, but, uh, but you know what? I cannot wait until Monday night when I start my weight gaining process. I know it'll be <laughs> for a little while and then it'll be daunting after you, you know, you've had a meal at seven, you go to bed at seven 30, you wake up at 10 to eat and you're still full from the last meal, but I am going to have one of every burger uh, and, <laughs> and everything else on the menu uh, with a cold beer and anything else that I might have also have, you know, some wings uh, from KFC and I might have some nuggets from McDonald's and I got to just <laughs> a while and you know it's part of my job so i get to do that for a while and then as soon as it's over hopefully i'll get back into shape i'm going to be 50 this summer oh so, wow oh my goodness Congratulations. which is the and blessing i made it hopefully but you know <laughs> yeah when Julie, you mention all, all, yeah when you mention all that food man i got i start smiling more and more and more, and more like, <laughs> my smile just got bigger and bigger as you, you should have seen my reaction when you showed me your your one-year anniversary cake i was like what kind of cake is that <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's available at the exchange. I think this sounds like a good cheap chat episode from Wahlburgers and we try every burger. Oh, yes. What? We can have a, what, is that, a muk, a, what is that called? A mukbang, mukbang, mukbang or something? We can go to Wahlburgers and try everything on the menu. Yeah, I, um, I've done it before, trust me. We are all in for that, for sure. <laughs> yes. And, and also just want to give, a, I got one comment uh from a, a friend of mine he's a chief out there tony garula his brother gus garula's birthday is today just giving him a birthday oh, shout out happy birthday show. happy birthday god bless you yeah so so can you talk to us about the, your new show uh wall street that it debuts, debuts this month on hbo max yeah very excited about wall street um you know really it's, it's an opportunity for everybody to get some insight of all the businesses that i'm involved with um all my kind of day-to-day -day life everything that we're doing uh in film television with performance inspired nutrition with municipal and the launch during the pandemic um obviously the first season we shot during the pandemic so f2000 f45 studios closed all over the world in 52 countries uh every Wahlburgers restaurant was closed um so dealing with all of that stuff um, but, you know, it's 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 great for entrepreneurs and hopefully it will inspire anybody who has an idea uh, to go out there and try to make it happen. Every time I've had an idea or something that I was interested in business, people are always like, no, 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 no. I don't think I, you shouldn't invest in a startup or do this and that. But I want to do things that I believe in, that I'm directly connected to, that I think are a direct connection and extension of who I am. And so, um, you know, we're kind of betting on ourselves. And I love business. Some days I'm like, why am I doing all this stuff? Why am I taking all this other responsibility on? I have a great film and television career. Uh, as a producer and an actor um, but you know I love business and I'm doing things that I'm really proud of and hopefully businesses that are you know giving people uh, great products and you know great experience so we're uh, we're still just plugging away but it's a, it really is a great opportunity and insight and look of all the ups and downs of trying to build a business and trying to being on uh, being an entrepreneur and all the learning curves I think if anything else I've learned so much uh, and learning the big thing is to learn to be able to say no, uh, always kind of raise your hand if there is something you don't understand, because I was never in the restaurant business, I was never in the clothing business. Obviously, I want to be in business and partner with people who have real experience in that space and people who I consider are serious adults in that space. So uh, I have great partners, but you know, it's it's been a learning experience. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's something that I always like to learn. And I'm, I'm always interested to kind of learn more and grow a little bit. So absolutely. And, and documenting those failures is probably probably the most important. Right? Yeah. And I think people, you know, they see a lot of the, the, you know, we always talk about people are showing the gains and the successes and everything on Instagram. I always just try to show the work, you know, the little stuff, because it's, it's about the journey, right? It's the every single day that you get in there, the, the, the days that you don't miss, the days you feel bad, but you feel great when you're finished, you feel that sense of completion. So uh, there are a lot more, uh, there are a lot more misses and a lot more losses than there are wins on the show for sure. 
but I think hopefully it also shows the resiliency and the, the, the you know, the never give up attitude that we have and we'll kind of continue and hopefully, uh, you know, be persistent and hopefully prevail in the end. But either way, you know, we've given it 110 percent. And that's the most important thing. I want to make sure that my kids understand that, you know, it's when you feel regret, when you don't give it your all, when you left something on the table, when you could have worked a little bit harder, when you've given it your all win, lose or draw, you feel good about the effort. You know, you gave it everything. Uh, I don't like I don't like uh, regret. That's it's not a good feeling. Absolutely, man. And we appreciate those nuggets that you just dropped for, yeah. for us and our, our viewers as well. But uh, Mark, we we really, really thank you uh, for spending some time with us on our kind of anniversary episode of Chief Chat. We're going to be celebrating all, all month long, but um, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. And, and it just means so much to, to us and all the service members in, in, throughout the world. Well, anytime. And I tell you what, it means that much more to me to be able to express my gratitude and what you guys do and the ultimate sacrifice that you make, uh, you know, being away from your family, your homes, uh, putting your lives at risk. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's something obviously I continue to, you know, just be in awe of, you know, the courage, the bravery, the strength. Um, it makes me really proud. And the love of our country makes me really proud to, to, uh, to be able to, to express my thanks and be into, I have a relationship with, with, with all four branches of the military uh, and veterans and their families and, you know, servicemen and women, their spouses, we encourage and want to try to hire people in the military. What better people could you have working with you than somebody who is as disciplined, experience, loyalty, love, all of those things. That's, you know, I, I'd say that's, that's 10, those, those things are so much more important than performance. You know, uh, you'll always get the performance, right? You might have to figure something out. This might something, but not be something that you're used to doing, but you'll know how to go out and figure that out, you know, learn and go out and, you know, complete those tasks and, uh, and be successful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much again. Um, I know you're a busy man and, uh, uh, you know, getting back to filming and, and rehearsing and all that good stuff, but we, we absolutely, you're welcome anytime on the show. Uh, isn't that right, Julian? Yes. So hopefully, hopefully we can actually get together in person. You know, yes. we can work out, we can have yes. a meal, we can visit yes. a base, we can, you know, uh, you know, thank everybody in person. We'll have a grand opening, um, you know, launch some new exclusive gear for municipal, uh, you know, just for the exchange stores. We want to do some special stuff and, and express our, and show our gratitude and appreciation. Absolutely. Well, if we get to work out, I need I need Kenny's first workout. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to do what Kenny's doing right now. I did. I tell you what, Kenny, he's doing, you know, hour and a half on the rower, hour on the verse to climb. I mean, he just oh goes. Gosh. Now he's starting to build muscle. I'm actually uh, taking him to the to the nutritionist tomorrow. It's be interesting to see what what kind of meal plan they want to give him to help him try to get, you know, get off the next five pounds and then start just building more muscle. So it'll be interesting to see. But he's not stopping. Absolutely. I'm giving him many chances to quit. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Go, Kenny. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, well, take care, Mark, and uh, we'll we'll definitely see you soon. I can't wait to meet you in person, uh, and we we definitely can have something special on the Chief Chat uh, in person. Yeah, it's something. Yes. Thank you, Chief. I really appreciate it. Tell Chief Ferris we miss him. You you're doing an outstanding job. Thank you. you, know, Thank you. Uh, maybe there's uh, an opportunity for you guys to both share the spotlight together at some point. Well, <laughs> well, it's, it's funny you say that because uh, we we get, we uh, invite him back on the show um, to interview him. Uh, for, for our anniversary month so uh that, right. that's another thing we a military exclusive you guys so we're gonna right, have, to, I have to fire off a couple questions too okay. yes yeah, yeah, you're welcome anytime put mark him, put him on the hot seat for a minute absolutely, absolutely. all right thanks. well thank you guys thanks for being with us oh uh, my pleasure god bless all right chief chat out thanks guys god bless you all don't stay because i'm gonna do a second okay <laughs>